Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Elbow in Grouchland. Made in 1999, but why am I playing a Sesame Street game? Oh, I don't know. Let's quickly go through this. Hard! This is Elmo and his best friend, Blanket. But... Blanket? Elmo loves his blanket more than anything. Oh no! It's gone! But it's still there. Elmo will do anything to get his blanket back. Please help Elmo. No! That's why we're pressing his button to start. Sesame Street. You have to chase after your blanket. There's one button to jump. And at the moment, that's it. Don't get hit by the water. Oh no! Not water! Come back, Blanket! You're my only security against the harsh reality of the world! Come back! Ah! And then... That happens, and then it falls into a bin, and we jump in after it! There could be needles! Journey to Grouchland. This is where the game goes psychedelic, and you fall down an arranging menagerie of colours, while elephants fly walk across the screen, and little blimps, and holy heck, television screens, and we're collecting little stars, and there's a car. What have you been smoking, Elmo? I know times are tough, but jeez! Okay. As you can see, they really didn't bother with the music at this part of the game. I'm sincerely hoping I have stereo mix on. I'm not playing this again. I'm gonna check it now. Oh, phew! I don't have it off. Oh, we're at Grouchland! Foggy Grouchland! Oh, this is where we get a fan, folks! And we have to use the fan with the other button to get rid of fog, and there's a grouch. This game is terrible. I know it's for children, but jeez. Why are we still got the I must chase after my blanket running animation? Because there is no blanket here. What was the point of this level? I just, I just, yeah. There's no point to that level at all. Moving on. Huxley's chopper. Who, who's Huxley? Now what do we do in this level? We have to fire spittoons of water at his little helicopter. I'm not making this up. Oh, we got his helicopter. Oh, time to do it again. Take this, Huxley. I'm firing water at you. Because your helicopter... Why is the helicopter suctioning in the blanket anyway? What, what villain's main objective is, I'm going to nick the main character's blanket. <coughs> Obviously, Cobra got a little bit bit, you know, lax in their later years, and decided we're going to nick Elmo's blanket. Oh, I don't know. Aha, we got you again! Oh, and it's gone. So now we have to chase after his blanket again. Mine games! Oh, the obligatory minecart level! Pushing right lets you go down. You can press down there, and we're at the minecart. Note, anything that can hurt you glints. This game couldn't be more easy if it was Barney the Di- Actually, it could be easier if it was Barney the Dinosaur. That plays itself. At least this game forces you to press the right- The right control panel. Pad. Thing. God, this game's making me lose my- I forgot what it's called. Oh, level over! That was easy. Jumping in the dump! No, there's no needles and syringes for uh, Elmo to hurt himself on. But there are lots of things in the background, and conveyor belts, and we still have that running animation, even though there's no blanket here. Jump, Elmo! For great justice! And there's the exit. My god, this level's not long. And, uh, jump on this tire. And just to spice things up, boxes start falling from the sky at this point, but they are so easy to avoid, it's almost meaningless. Flowers, bugs, and bugs. Wow. There's a very, very, very slow-moving caterpillar there. I'm terrified. Moving on. And, uh, a camera. Oh, I got, I got hit by a butterfly. That's ridiculous! Let's grab that star, and let's...
finish the level, shall we? And now the last level, Huxley's house! <coughs> For some reason, Huxley has... Oh, he has little things that fire lasers. But they're easily avoided by walking past them! And there's his house. Maybe Huxley's just lonely. Maybe we should say hi. No, let's just get our blanket back, shall we? Want the blanket? Jump on that platform. Oh look, there it is. Right by his hover helicopter. What, no boss? Let's go over here. Yay! Congratulations, Elmo and his blanket are together. Yeah! And that's it! Wait, that's it? What? So any kid with, like, half a brain can complete this game in under six minutes? But no, that's it. That's his journey to Grouchland, impeded by fire hydrants and very slow-moving caterpillars and butterflies. And occasionally there's a minecart and some dump. That, that's it. I don't believe it. Music by Bite Size Sound. What music? It was like, blinky blink. Blinky blinky. And the children's television workshop producer. He should be shot. For no particular reason, I just think he should be shot. To be involved in this. Oh, thanks for playing. Well, at least it says that in English. Much better than thank you for playing this game. If you don't know that, folks, you don't want to know. Final score, 925. Elmo and Grouchland was copyrighted by the children's television workshop. Licensed by Nintendo. Nintendo, you have real problems if you ran out of games and had to have this on your console. So, I'm Kikuskia, this is Let's Play Elmo in Grouchland, and I'm going to drink a very, very stiff drink of Pepsi Max to try and blot this game.